I think we're close enough this time. Oh my god, we're gonna run out of battery. Come on. We're going for it. We're going for it. On the final lap here. Oh, nice. 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 But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another epic race in our Formula 1 23 My Team Career Mode. If you guys aren't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, and hit the notification bell as this season in our My Team Career Mode is coming right down to the wire. This is the second last race of the season, and the Drivers' Championship right now is neck and neck between me and fernando alonso we are sitting in p2 behind him uh with 116 points to alonso's 129 which puts us uh exactly 13 points behind fernando alonso meaning that we need to have a good race here and a good race mostly entails us finishing in front of alonso because obviously if he finishes in front of us uh, it's going to put us in an even tougher spot, and it may uh, take us out of the championship hopes. So we are going to be keeping our eye on Alonzo for this race. And uh, in Q1, it's going pretty well so far. We got a wet qualifying for Q1 and Q2, and a little bit in Q3 as well. We finish in front of Max Verstappen uh, by two tenths at the end of Q1. And then in Q2, we put up our flying laps in a scrub set of intermediate tires putting us into p9 so we're gonna have to improve here good news though is that alonzo is behind us in p10 if he does not finish or does not make it into q3 that would put us in an excellent excellent position because then we can score maximum points over fernando alonzo and maybe take back the lead of the championship going into uh the season finale but the last three races for us uh, haven't been good at all. It's where everything went wrong this season and it's what has allowed Alonso to close in on us and overtake us in the championship. So we're going to be looking to make up for that in Portugal. And uh, once again, in Q2 doing very well. We got a purple sector one, six tenths above, now eight tenths above that previous lap. And the track is drying. It's no longer raining. So we probably will be on slick tires come Q3. We're not going to have enough time here to put up a lap on the slicks in Q2, and I still think it is intermediate weather there. As you saw, we went a little bit wide, but it doesn't compromise our lap time too much as we purple Sector 2. Everyone has done their lap already. Sitting in P11, this definitely will get us into Q3. I'm not going to leave you guys in too much suspense here, but Leclerc, I think, is out. Lance Stroll is out as well, and then we're going to be looking here to knock out Ocon going in to Q3. Lando Norris in the Red Bull, down in P9, so not a great outing for him. We're going to cross the line by nearly a second of an improvement on our first flyer, and that puts us uh, in P1 at the end of Q2. Fernando Alonso right behind us with a 300th of a second gap to us, so it's going to come down to the wire. In Q3 here, we are on the slick tires. We're going to turn on that DRS. Sonoda is still on the intermediates for some reason. Uh, not sure what that's all about. Uh, but our first lap in Q3 puts us in the P9. So Alonso's up, uh, I believe, on provisional pole. Verstappen now takes that, and I lied. Alonso's down into P7 now. So uh, hopefully that is his final flyer here, and he's crossed the line. I think one of the McLarens is crossing the line right now. We're going to see where that puts him. And no, Fernando Alonso currently on provisional pole. We got a 1.9, well, two second improvement uh, from our last flyer, but that was on uh, intermediate tires. So it doesn't really help me engaging where we are uh, on the grid currently, but we got a purple sector two, green sector one, four second improvement now as we go through the final corner. Can we start on pole position in front of uh, Fernando Alonso, Lewis Hamilton is up there as well through this bank turn down the straight. We're going to turn on the DRS for like 100 meters or so, cross the line, and it is going to be a pole position. It's our first pole position in a while, uh, but that is exactly what we need. Now, Portugal is a pretty good track, at least on the game, for overtaking, so uh, we're not safe. Lewis Hamilton's right there behind us. We destroy them in qualifying. The gap to second was four tenths. Our gap to Alonso was six, so that's a good indicator on how our race pace will be. We're obviously going to have to watch for the tires uh, throughout the duration of the race, but let's get into uh, the second last race of the season here. Hopefully, we can get away with a win here. 
All right, so things are looking great here in Portugal. As uh, we got our first pole position in God knows how long. It feels like it's been a while since we've been on pole. And we actually dominated qualifying uh, in Q1 and Q2 on those intermediates. I had like 11 laps of fuel in the car. And uh, we were still able to lead all three qualifying sessions, I believe. Uh, but we obviously lead Q3 because we are on pole here and uh, we won pole by about 4 tenths. So our pace is looking good, or at least our one lap pace. Hopefully that will convert into uh, race pace. But uh, we do have to be wary of the tires because we are on the softs and we're staying on the softs for I think 13 or 14 laps. And uh, by the time we get there, uh, it's estimated our tires will be at around 57% wear, which is pretty bad. Uh, we might have to pit early, we might have to switch strategies, but everyone is starting on the soft tires, so I don't really want to be that one guy who goes on the mediums. We're going to put ourselves at a disadvantage at the start of the race, but we also have an opportunity here before the last race of the season to take back the driver's championship lead over Fernando Alonso, who is starting in P3. He's 13 points ahead of us right now. Uh, if we win and he comes, I think, in P3, uh, we should be able to pass him, um, if my math is correct. But let's get on the grid here. Let's see what we can do here in Portugal. Here we go for the Portuguese Grand Prix. Can we take back the lead of the driver's championship? Let's find out as we got five red lights and this race is underway and we are going to get off the line uh, pretty well. Actually, I don't know. Uh, Alonzo is right there behind us. I think he overtakes Hamilton. No, Hamilton's still there. Piastri in P4. We got a yellow flag. It looks like could be a potential safety car. Oh, safety car already deployed on lap one. Did I miss someone being out of the session? I'm trying to pay attention and see. We might have to check the race director menu to see uh, what happened there. I'm assuming someone's going into the pits because there wouldn't be a safety car if uh, there was no major incident. But it doesn't look like anyone DNF. No one's parked to the side or anything. So could just be some debris. I will try to remember to put a replay up. Uh, for that incident back there. This is also going to help with our strategy a little bit, or at least our tire wear, because now that we're, you know, just trailing the safety car nice and calmly, it will preserve our tires for a few extra laps, uh, which means either A, we can extend the life of the tire, or B, and uh, what is more likely, uh, we will get more out of the tire uh, in the same window. So, safety car is coming in here. Um, we got Hamilton, Alonzo, George Russell, Oscar Piastri trailing us, and then everyone else behind them. It was actually Valtteri Bottas uh, who went into the pits and put on a new front wing, I'm assuming. And then I can't get going here. I'm waiting to get the go-ahead. And I can't... Oh, come on. Go. Let me go. Okay, here we go. That was such an awful restart. But we are underway once again. And uh, Hamilton is a few tenths behind us for now. Uh, let's see if we can put our head down, get some good laps in, and try and break away from the rest of the pack here. Let the people behind us battle it out. Gives us the extra time to move up front. Another incident down at turn three. Oh, Hamilton going for a move down the inside of turn four. And he moves under braking once again. He's going to get past us here. And we put up a purple sector one, and that's not even quick enough. To, get, uh, to keep Hamilton behind us here. So now... Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so close. We hit the speed bump. And uh, Hamilton now is breaking away. Oh god, this is not good. So here comes Alonso, our championship rival. We are racing down into turn one. And we're going to give him the racing room through turn one. Stay in front of him for now. And we need to get back... Uh, towards Lewis Hamilton or move closer because DRS is going to be activated soon and if we can't close in on Lewis Hamilton uh, we might be in a little bit of trouble here not what I expected at the safety car reset as Alonzo now diving down the inside once again so oh god uh, Alonzo is going to be with us I think for the majority of this race now the question is can we keep the tires in the right window 
to get them all the way to the end of our stint. I think that's going to make or break our race here. So we are pitting this lap. This race so far has been very, very stagnant. Uh, there hasn't been much action at all. Um, Alonzo has been, you know, three to seven tenths behind me, depending on where we are on the track. We tend to gain a little bit on him at the end of sector one, and then he closes in uh, towards the end of the lap. And then Lewis Hamilton, uh, he is, he has been around 3.5 to 3.7 seconds in front of us. We can't seem to close in on him for some reason. I guess Lewis Hamilton just decided to be quick today. Oh God, as we uh, go way off the track there. But uh, we are going to pit this lap, so hopefully that could change something. We're going to need a little bit of luck here if we want to win this race, I think. A safety car would be amazing. We've already had one this race, so maybe another one can come and bless us uh, just after we pit, hopefully. But we'll see what the other drivers do, as I think Lewis Hamilton is going to dive into the pits here. We're going to follow suit, see if Alonso stays out or not. Oh god, did we get a speed uh, penalty? Okay, no, we didn't. Alonzo is staying out, Russell's staying out, uh, Norris is staying out, Sonoda also staying out. So, we're going to go onto the hard tires here for the remainder. No, medium tires. We're going on the medium tires, sorry, to the end of this race. We could definitely make it there. Um, the tire wear at this track is very, very low, surprisingly. I felt pretty comfortable on the, the soft tires. And I think we actually, oh, Lewis Hamilton had a slow pit stop. Nice. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. He was 3.7 seconds ahead of us, and now he is right in front of us. Uh, we really closed in there, so he might have gotten held up. Uh, he may have had to replace the wing. I doubt it, though, based on how quick he was. We're going to try and go for a move on Nick DeVries here because I don't want to get held up by him. So we're just going to try and dive down the inside, get past him. And then Hamilton is going to have DRS, so he might have a chance here to pull away. I'm hoping this traffic holds him up. Yuki Sonoda is dove into the pits. I'm not sure who's holding up uh, Hamilton right now. Oh, it's his ex-teammate, Valtteri Bottas. But we're going to use all the battery that we got. Try and close in here. Because uh, Hamilton is going to get away with the DRS. And hopefully Bottas can hold him up. I don't think so, though. Actually, it looks like they might be side by side here. Bottas might be holding him up. No, uh, Luce is going to get past. All right, so race update here. We're heading on to lap 24, and uh, we are in, or should be in, DRS range of Lewis Hamilton on the next lap. Alonzo has been keeping pace with B as well, so he's going to get in on this battle uh, to decide the order of the podium as we lock up into, uh, I'm not sure what the turn number is here, but... Uh, we do have DRS on Hamilton, so we're going to use a little bit of battery just to stay within range. Now, I think uh, this is the hardest part because we are now trapped in Hamilton's dirty air. As you can see, a little bit of oversteer. Um, but I am very confident that we have much better pace than Lewis Hamilton. So uh, once that DRS gets uh, turned on uh, on the main straight... Uh, we should be on our way to overtaking, but we actually fall out of DRS range here, so... Gotta close in here once again. Are we gonna be in DRS range? That is the million dollar question. And right now, it doesn't look like it. Ham or Alonzo might be in DRS range of us, so... Oh god, we might be in trouble here. I'm gonna turn on the battery, try to get within DRS range. No, and Alonzo is going to be within DRS range of us. So we've got to hope that we can catch a slipstream here off Lewis Hamilton. We are once again in DRS range. Uh, Alonzo, though, falling back, even though I believe he did get DRS. But we got, what is it, a uh, few laps left to go here. And uh, we should be on our way for a win here. We do have to pass Mr. Lewis Hamilton, seven-time world champion, or should I say eight-time world champion in my opinion. All right, so here we go. We got DRS on Lewis Hamilton. We're going to charge up the battery here, see if we can close in on him. Massive slipstream down the main street uh, in Portugal. And we are now six-tenths to Hamilton, so we could be going for a win here. Verstappen out of the session. Is that going to be a safety car? Where is he? Uh-oh. I'm not sure how this is going to affect our race if there is a safety car, but... Uh, it seems like Verstappen has gotten off safely. So it doesn't look like there will be a safety car here. Alright, now I think we're going to get him. We're five tenths behind Hamilton before we even hit the DRS uh, marker. Oh my gosh, another slip up by us. 
These tires are starting to go, though. We got six laps left. And we're going to turn on the battery here, and we are going to go for the move once again. I think this time we should be able to get them, as we are six tenths before DRS. And let's see here. DRS is going to get turned on. Do we have enough juice in the tank to get past them? We are bottoming out the engine here, and it's not going to be enough. Lose Hamilton is going to stay in front of us once again. So we got two laps to go here. I'm having a lot of trouble getting past Hamilton. Uh, we did have our DRS stuck open for, I think it was like a lap or so, but then it got fixed. And now we are still chasing down Hamilton. I think we just have to put our balls to the wall, put it on the table, and just go for it. Because we don't have enough juice in the tank here to get past him down the straight. Uh, and it's really our only opportunity. But like, look, we just don't get close enough. And we're going to go off the track here. Maybe we can go for a dive bomb. No, like, you see, we just get stuck behind them. Trapped in the dirty air. And we're going to have to go again on the final lap this time. And we're going to try our best to keep up with them. This is our... We're going to have, like, one more chance because we're heading on to the last lap. Alonzo has also fallen back. This is a battle between me and Lewis Hamilton for the win here in Portugal. And we need these uh, these points here. We're going to lose out on seven additional points if we can't get the win here. And Alonzo was right behind us, so we really need this. Uh, I think this will put us in front of Alonzo if we can get it. But let's see here. Down the main straight, trying to keep all four tires on the track. We got six tenths to Hamilton. We have to get him here. Come on. Come on. I think we're close enough this time. Oh my god, we're gonna run out of battery. Come on. We're going for it. We're going for it. On the final lap here, we're gonna pass Lewis Hamilton. And we are gonna take the lead of this race on the final lap. Now we just gotta bring it home. There's a yellow flag out. Not sure who that's for. But Hamilton, he's gonna have another opportunity here to overtake us. Oh wait, where did he go? Lewis Hamilton lost it. I'm not sure what happened to him. I was ready for an epic final lap with Lewis Hamilton. But I'm not sure if he locked up or because we kind of, you know, took the corner into turn one. He might have uh, got cut off there, went off the track. I think we passed him cleanly uh, before the apex. I might be wrong, though. As I was in the heat of the moment, I was trying to get some good commentary in. But we are in P1 now through the final corners of this race and I think we are going to reassert ourselves as the leader in the driver's championship leaving it to one final showdown between myself and Fernando Alonso in Las Vegas if you guys have enjoyed this be sure to subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when the finale is out but we're going to cross the line here in P1 let's go Oh my god, man, we needed that. It's been a tough back half of the season. We finally got another win on the board. Let's go. A great race from us. Great race. Like I said, we... I needed that. I needed that. We dominated qualifying. Um, we slipped up in the first lap of the race. Lewis Hamilton passed us, and it wasn't looking good before we went into the pits. He was just faster on those soft tires. But then once the mediums came on, we really started to close in on him. Uh, we had some issues with the DRS. Thank God it didn't last that long. Otherwise, we would have been screwed. And then we finally, on the final lap, close in on Lewis Hamilton and overtake him for the win. On top of that, we get the fastest lap. And looking at the replay as well, uh, I, I might have cut off Hamilton a little bit. I was ahead though, going into the corner. I will say that he could have backed out. He didn't have to cut over the curb. Uh, he easily could have followed in behind. It would have given him another shot uh, down the second DRS zone, but it doesn't matter. We take the win along with the fastest lap, 26 points, and that puts us Da, 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 da. two points behind Fernando Alonso so it's a two-point gap going in to the season finale and we have the daunting task of finishing ahead of Alonso if we finish ahead of Alonso in the points of course uh then we win uh obviously it has to be above we have basically have to finish p7 or higher or p8 sorry or higher and then uh, Fernando cannot uh, 
finish in front of us. So if we finish P8 and Fernando fi uh, finishes behind us, we will clinch the championship. But uh, the last track is Vegas, which uh, I did not have a good outing at last time in the season one finale, if I remember correctly. We got really lucky, I'm pretty sure, with like Piastri and uh, Norris or something like that. I mean, something had to happen with McLaren. I had to finish in like P6. And uh, it happened because of a really lucky safety car. So we'll see if we can uh, do this in the season finale. But back at the factory, with one Grand Prix left, we still have a bunch of extra parts. So we're going to throw those onto the car, keep the car very, very fresh. And then maybe we'll use some older components for the practice sessions just to make sure that everything is as fresh as it can be going in to the season finale. Now we have some items back here to take care of. Uh, number one is we got $50 million. So, um, I mean, if we signed Lewis Hamilton next season, hypothetically, uh, we'd still have 25 million left to spend on facilities. So we're gonna go ahead, get a facility upgrade here now. Uh, we definitely want to, I think, increase the fabrication time. I think that is the number one thing. We're gonna go, I think, for chassis fabrication. Uh, because we have to redo all those upgrades. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure reserving those are instant, but because basically we're not going to be able to reserve all the parts, so we're going to have to bang out upgrades next season, and we want those uh, to come as quickly as possible, so we can get this $12 million chassis upgrade. It'll reduce the build time of all upgrades by 60%, which is massive, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get that. And then I think we're also going to do it for the aero department. So that will give us a big advantage next season when we have to inevitably uh, redo all those upgrades that we lost. Same thing for the durability department. But we do have that spec'd out already. Um, we're not going to upgrade the last one there. And maybe we can do one more because we'll get prize money at the end of the season. We are in P2 in the constructor, so we should get some pretty good prize money, even though or even if we don't finish in a p1 and the last thing we need is upgrades failing so we'll spend 11 million uh get this failure quality control upgrade uh will reduce the chance of failure by 30 percent and then after that maybe in the off season we can go for the fabrication upgrade and then i thought maybe getting another upgrade going into las vegas instead of spending it on uh restoring these but the only real upgrade we can get is this fuel efficiency upgrade which would allow us to run a lower fuel load in Vegas but I don't think it'll help us enough to overpower McLaren and on top of that it wouldn't even be here uh, even if we rushed it it wouldn't be here for the Vegas Grand Prix so um, we're just gonna go ahead zigzag between aero and chassis for keeping these upgrades durability also needs to be uh, restored which I don't know what we're going to do about that. Uh, we're going to have to hold off on durability because next season we're going to be very slow. And something else that is going to make it harder. We did do well in Portugal, but uh, McLaren brought upgrades to Portugal, which makes me question how good they're going to be next season. If they're OP again next season, I'm going to be upset because there's no way they can get all these upgrades in and then still be competitive next season with the amount of regulation changes uh that are happening right now we haven't brought in an upgrade since mexico it looks like yeah mexico uh but we bought those upgrades prior to i think the japanese grand prix so we've really just been stockpiling uh these upgrades for next season which means mclaren shouldn't be that quick but uh the point of this is that uh we are gonna have a big task on our hands next race because look at that gap between us and mclaren uh it's gonna be tough and then on top of that too all these middle of the pack or top of the middle pack teams uh like myself aston martin ferrari alpine i think mercedes is in there as well um but we're all like neck and neck with each other i think we all stop bringing upgrades in because we're focused on next season red bull is a little bit ahead but uh the two drivers haven't had the greatest season so far however guys that is going to be it for this one as always if you've watched up to this point be sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the notification bell so you guys know when the season finale is out it's me versus fernando alonso 
in Las Vegas, can I claim my second championship or will Fernando Alonso uh, be the oldest driver in history to win a driver's world championship? You guys will find out in the next one. Uh, but until then, guys, have a great night, everyone.